what's up guys? Uh this is Neocrown playing Summoners War Sky Arena. We are back with another rare fight in the arena and it is I think it's another Grogan. It's another Dark Dragon. Okay, so we got more dragon on dragon action here. This guy is six stars and he has a Chloe as well. The Chloe Light Fairy Valkyria combo. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do against this team. Okay, they resisted that. But I'm going to do it anyway to take care of the Chloe, high priority target. Alright, we get the win. Come closer, guys. Um, this monster was spotted in its natural habitat about 10 minutes ago. Hopefully, my presence has not scared it away. It is Fermion, Dark Archangel. Leader skill HP of Dark Monsters by 50%. Inflicted damage decrease if more allies survive. And he deals more damage if more allies die. Continuous damage. Damage increases according to defense. And um, removes beneficial effect. And damage increases according to defense. So we're going to have a go at this exotic creature here. I've no idea where, whether I would be able to uh, defeat it, let alone capture it. But we are going to face it, confront it. And uh, get a close-up look at this this beauty <laughs> wow guys wow wow full resistance as well Alright, that was exciting. <laughs> it was pretty exciting. Do we have one more? Let's <laughs> let's go for it another time. Let's go for it one more time guys. <laughs> if if you already deal so much damage, um even before his allies die, I can't imagine how much damage he's gonna do after his allies die. And he has plenty of health, looking at it. Okay, that was Fermion, the Dark Archangel. Okay. That is my first and only ever Dark Archangel sighting, so... I will be recording that, and uh, yep, see you guys later. Um, I've got a few things lined up today. Uh, first off, let us awaken the Wind Undine. Okay, once she is awakened, she will gain an additional effect to this skill. Basic attack now has a chance to decrease attack speed if it crits. So let's awaken her first. Um, I'll show you stats before and after, okay. So, I plan to use her quite regularly in my arena defense. Um, and also, she will replace the uh, Water Garuda because of her third ability, grants immunity, removes all harmful effects, and also heals. Okay, very good ability. So, um, alright, so that's the, uh, the Wind Undine. I also plan to... 6 star my wind oracle okay so let's unlock a few of these guys where are they okay yep there you go um as you can see i am 
sacrificing some good monsters here. But they are farmable, so I'm not too worried about that. The reason I don't use Baladion, Baladion, the uh, Lightning Nogami, often is because I have two other attack bar buffing monsters with the uh, with the Wind Griffin and the Water Mystic Witch, so he is a bit redundant. So it's uh, it's six star Ciara. Nice. Okay, after intense leveling, um, Oracle is level 18 now, Sierra. I think she's back to her previous uh, power level. So let's test her out in the arena now. And uh, we are lucky to have um, the Light Epicure Priest um, attack us. So we have a chance to uh, witness it back in the uh, Revenge. So she has a revive. I think one of the more powerful revives because it grants defense for three turns as well. Um, recovery and uh, basic attack with some lifesteal. Okay, so let's test the new Sierra out against a rare Light Epicurean Priest. So this is a mixed bag team with uh, Speed Leader, Valkyria. She has one damage dealer and uh, three supports. I don't think she has anyone that can take advantage of that uh, speed leader skill. And uh, the water Indian doesn't seem to have 100% crit rate, so she's not going to freeze there. Okay, uh, the cooldowns are down. So no revives at all from Valkyria or the uh, Light Epicure Priest. Cool. So we get a victory, Ciara's first victory post-evolution.